A video by Black Unicorn Fan Fictions kindly do not copy and read the disclaimer carefully. It's annoying. Jungkook came back from the office at 11 p.m. looking tired and tense as always. I silently handed him a glass of water. He took a sip. Why aren't you asleep yet? I wanted to talk to you about something. Bhok Would it be okay if I started a job? No, you don't need a job. I'm providing everything you need. But I get bored whole day and I have a degree. I said no, Wayan. You don't need to work. End of the discussion. Keh diya na. Bas keh diya. Wayan left after making a gorilla face. Chuk stepped out of the bathroom, towel drying his hair, only to find me aggressively fluffing the pillows and yanking the blanket into place. I was living a peaceful life. One day, my dad decided to do something adventurous, but not with his life. He found this post box faced Richie Reed's son-in-law and trapped me in this marriage. Jungkook is extremely short-tempered. He is workaholic. I begged my dad to let me stay single. I was keeping my ring finger empty for you. But he belongs to author. My father showed a mirror to me and married me off. Now I have to pretend to be scared. of this princess what if his ego got hurt some day as everyone around him never goes against his words what did those poor pillows do to you i'm just arranging them i finally finished and flopped onto my side of the bed giving him a full back view and rolling my eyes making sure he knew he was being ignored you have something to say wan or are you just going to sulk in silence khamosh someone please give me kerosene oil i need to cook my husband in it but that he lie down beside her i flushed my pillow seething quietly wishing i could just disappear or at least go at far far away from this cold and dashing man suddenly he pulled me into his embrace i can smell his amazing scent He again used my expensive shampoos and moisturizer. Wait, he called me pathetic 0.69 seconds ago. I wiggled in his arms trying to get away from him. Behave. Nice. Wan slowly farted. Seriously? That wasn't intention. He hooked his leg around her waist, locking her into the place. You can be mad. All you want, but I am not letting you go anywhere. Why am I so weak in front of him? Budhapa hai, budhapa. Next day, Junko called Wayan. I'll be late. Don't wait for me. Mm hmm. She disconnected. How childish. Any problem, sir? Wayan asked me to let her do a job, and I denied. She's mad at me now. If I were her, I had given you divorce for being so controlling. I don't think I am doing anything wrong. I'm sure she is feeling suffocated in this relationship. And soon she will find a way to free herself. Can you stay at home doing nothing but stare at black walls? Not all walls are black in my house. Try to think after putting yourself in her shoes. I can't. Her feet are small. Don't be shocked when she will throw divorce paper on your face someday. Junko kicks her heavily. Okay, stop overreacting. I will ask her to find a job for herself. I can't believe this. A wife of a billionaire is gonna look for a job. What will people say? Jun Junko can't even provide for his only wife. What if someone will try to take advantage of her because she is related to you? What if she will fall for someone else in her office? You are fired. Sir, after everything that I did for you, Jungkook is jailed heavily. Keep your opinions to yourself. Hey Jungkook. Oh, Amelia? It's been a while, baby girl. 
Alex got a call from Wyan. Excuse me. He went a bit away from them. Where is he? Well, we are in a restaurant and he is talking to a beautiful woman named Amelia. Jungkook laughed. Is he laughing with her? Yeah. They just hugged and he is holding her hand. Now, he leaned in. <gasps> what? What did he do? Alex. Alex disconnected. You stupid cow. You ruined my suit. I'm sorry. I don't see you. You don't see a 6 feet handsome man. I'm straight. He left. Time skip. I sat on the couch, dressed in a short nightgown. It was 1 a.m. and I couldn't sleep after what I had heard from Jungkook's assistant Alex. Jungkook was out with his ex Amelia. The thought made my peaches boil. Just then the door clicked open and Jungkook walked in, looking surprised to see me awake. His eyes flicked over me, taking the night gown and wine glass in my hand. Why are you still up? Just couldn't sleep. Guess it's hard to do that when my husband's out meeting old flames. He looked confused for a second, then narrowed his eyes, brushing off my words with a slight smirk. He removed his blazer and loosened his tie and took a step towards me, his voice dropping to a low. Seems like you have been waiting for me, wearing something, tempting for a reason. I rolled my eyes, ignoring his attempt to charm his way out of this. He tossed the blazer onto the couch. But as it landed, something small and shiny tumbled out of the pocket and earring. Unbelievable. You are out with her, bringing Chi-Chi. And you expect me to just sit here and welcome you home? This is what you do in your meetings? Unfaithful pig, oink oink. Keep your pretty mouth shut until I decide to let you use it for something else. Wan dramatically clapped. Now you are trying to romance me? He picked up the earrings and gave it to her. I bought them for you. Like this. Where is the box? It wasn't fitting in my pocket. I gave it to Alex. You can confirm it from your so-called spy. He called Alex. Hey. At this time, you disconnected the call at that time and I was still in suspense. What did you do after that? He leaned in and why did you gasp? Junko raised his eyebrows and clenched his jaw. Let me spill the tea, sis. So, a blind alcohol jar bumped into me and spilled juice on my expensive suit. That's why I gasped. And talking about your generator, he leaned in and hugged Amelia's husband, who was standing beside her. We signed a contract with him about the deal of earrings. Oh, Amelia is a jewelry designer and she gave those earrings for you as a wedding gift. By the way, I kept the box. I will put a Walmart ring in it and give it to my girlfriend. And don't tell Jungkook that I told about the meeting. I will lose my job. He disconnected. I faked a laugh. I always knew that you are loyal. Let's play a bit. They are neighbors. I just want to sleep peacefully. Can we file a noise complaint for too much love? If complaint won't work, he picked up the red chopsticks from the nightstand. They will. Let's throw them an applause when the show ends. Government is more worried about the cats on scooters, but why no one is putting annoying neighbors in the headlines of the news channels oh my baby is still traumatized let me give you a hug